past, but what appears to have happened is a car was stopped on the tracks. Uh, it was hit by the train, uh, and the resulting fire and explosion of hitting the car consumed the car, uh, the vehicle, and then the first car uh, of the train itself. Uh, at this time, we believe the driver of the car has uh, perished, as well as uh, six people uh, in the train itself. When I first saw was the glow of the fire down the road, and as I approached, I was in disbelief when I saw the fire was coming from a car that was completely engulfed. When I noticed the train was on fire as well, that's when I realized that this was probably the worst tragedy I've ever responded to. When I heard the extent of the damage to the first car, and I saw that it had burned completely, I couldn't even imagine how many people were in there that had lost their lives. I didn't want to at the time. I was in the back trying to triage people and trying to set up a command post and trying to figure out how many we had um, injured and how many were actually deceased. But as time went on and we tried to assess the situation, that's when we all started to piece together how really bad it was. It was incredibly, very, just very tragic. That's all I could really say. I'm just still in disbelief. Most importantly, you have seven people who started out today to go about their business uh, and aren't going to be making it home tonight. Uh, and it's a painful reminder to all of us how precious life is.